Welcome. Thank you for taking a few minutes to learn about an automatic pool cover installation for fiberglass pools with retainer and a flush lid. Today, we will be talking about the pre-pour phase. Let's get started. You'll need the following tools. The first step is gathering your materials. Check to make sure you have the correct boxes. In the boxes, you'll find the lid, lid end, and riser, the retainer, lid brackets, and the polymer box. Step one, retainer layout installation. Take the first piece of the retainer and position it at the shallow end of the pool, running it two inches past the water's edge on the non-mechanism end. Pre-drill each hole first with an 11th 64 inch drill bit. Secure the retainer with the provided hardware and drill each hole as close as you can to the back side of the retainer. Repeat this process every 24 inches. Position the second piece of retainer along the pool's edge, taking care to align it exactly with the first piece prior to securing. If you have ordered the optional splice kit, use these to help you align the retainer pieces. Repeat the process you used for the first piece of retainer to secure the second piece. You will now install the retainer pieces on the other side of the pool following the same steps as before. Again, be sure to run the first piece two inches past the water's edge on the non-mechanism end and the second piece four inches into the cover housing. Also note on the shallow end of the pool, the retainer must be cut exactly to length. Cutting it too short will leave a gap. Position the retainer and secure in the same manner as before. Tape the ends to keep the concrete from flowing into the retainer. Now measure for the second piece running it two inches into the cover housing. Step two, installing the polymer box. Starting at the motor end side, First, lay out the section of the polymer box with the 4-inch hole on the bottom. Then start laying the rest of the polymer box, male end to female end. Slide box spacers into channels inside the box rails. Join each section of the polymer box with the provided splices and hardware. This will help align the box at the seams. Notch out the lip at the end of the retainer four inches. This will allow the lid riser to butt up to the retainer. Step three, riser installation. Place the mechanism end riser on the front side of the polymer box on the motor end. You may have to use a mallet to secure the riser onto the box rail. Secure it with the short self-taps provided. Fasten the riser end plate to the mechanism end of the riser into the channels with one inch screws using the pre-drilled holes in the plate. Place the full length piece of the riser on top of the aluminum rail on the back side of the box so that the riser end plate forms a 90 degree angle to both the front and back riser sections.
Secure the end plate with the one inch self taps. Fasten the full length piece in place with half inch screws again, one inch from both ends and every 16 to 18 inches in between. Place the eight inch riser in the same manner on the opposite end. Set in place and attach the remaining end plate to the riser through the pre-drilled holes. Again, use your square to confirm you have a 90 degree angle and this time place a mark on the box rail. Measure the distance between the end from the first lid riser to the mark and cut accordingly. Mount the remaining riser into place, tapping it firmly to secure it. Fasten the end riser with half-inch screws through the pre-drilled holes. Step 4. Staking the polymer box. Install a spring nut into the back side of the box rail and attach the wood stake brackets with the hardware supplied at each end of the polymer box and at each box splice. Cut out points at one end of the wood stakes, making it easier to drive them through. Using a sledgehammer, drive the wood stakes into the ground. Level the box and tighten support hardware to the stakes. Trim the excess wood above each bracket. Step 5. Installing the lid. Install the lid bracket and riser in the back end of the box evenly spaced with the width of the track. Please note that placing one bracket across the butt joint of the riser pieces will help keep the pieces firmly aligned. Level all the lid brackets. If needed, you can use the supplied concrete riser to increase the height of the front end of the box. Fasten it with half inch self taps every 16 to 18 inches in between. Place the lid on the riser. Do not cut the main lid. Measure the remaining space for the mechanism end lid and trim accordingly. Install and level the mechanism end lid and finally check to see that the box is properly leveled. To ensure the lid is not damaged during concrete pouring, flip the lid upside down after installation. You have now successfully completed the pre-pour portion of the automatic pool cover installation for fiberglass pools with retainer and a flush lid. Should you have any additional questions, please give us a call Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at 800-878-5789 and ask for technical support. Thanks again from all of us at Automatic Pool Covers.